seems Elderman Beerstan has made this ruin his longhouse. Why is my cup empty? Perhaps because you have drunk the barreled... Lord? Ah, a heroic-looking Dane in our midst. I'm looking for Beerstan. Our Lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visits. If you speak with her, pass on the... Because you have drunk the barrel dry? Damn, Beerstan. His household is as poorly run as his lands. Estrid is a good wife. Far better than he deserves. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife acts like a sow in a skirt. My sweater is a worthy woman, you coxcomb. She's an excellent cook. With a fine nose for trouble. With a fine nose for trouble. If Beerstan does not return... You! Guards will come at one cry from me! Sheathe your blade, lady. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. I'm wary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I'll remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck, he hasn't been eaten, but I'll return either way. is a godly virtue, Adred. Even the saints were tired of waiting for Beerstan to hang up his bow. Dear Estrid, we must discuss the affairs of this land, with or without him. matter of my fee. Now, show...
my eyes, Sunan. Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. Remains of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. They were caught off guard as they supped. They were attacked by a beast. Something strong enough to kill the horse. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. I can only hope that Bjerstam still lives. Bjerstam? Ready your weapon, or accept your fate as a feast for bears! Ha! Your weapon strikes true! My gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril. Perhaps you were God sent. I'm Estrid sent. Your wife and the Thanes of Essex both want your balls on a blacksmith's anvil. When do they not? You could return and report that the savage claw took me. Poor Beerstan, his exit pursued by a bear. And make the beast Lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? I am Avon of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once, and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. You lost many men on this.
inside. Not so far. We can take you. It's good I came when I did. You lost many men on this hunt. Good men, or They will have the proper rights and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain? Paralyzing you with its sting. There's pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a... Great passion when I met her. If they see me, this will get messy. E! She showed great passion when I met her, keeping her pains in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love and a piss-poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Piston. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well-crafted bow, my eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye, the crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. You have a romantic way about you, Biston. Do not fret.
ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Who is this owl, Beeston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adrid, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beerstan. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. Alfred will get bored soon enough. He has bigger pikes to bake than are to be found in this stolid backwater. Alfred's forces are only here because of Estrid's failed kidnap. Now that she is safe, they will soon be gone. And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? He should put his own ham fist in his purse, and contribute coin to the festival. Yes! You worry about the cost of such a festival, one that thanks God for our great harvest. Uh, contribute your own coin, then. And Aldrich, do you yap like a she-hound as Adred does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The feared. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Beware of sleep in a witch's bosom, nor let her limbs ensnare you, for she will not bring an early harvest. I, uh... bosoms, that? Uh... no. I'm afraid I don't know what that means, Abel. There! Have I not answered all your questions? You are a stain on this shire, Beerstan. Useless. Useless. That's right. Yet still you haunt my hall. Be gone. I haven't time for your squabbling. That ceased their prattling. A fine outcome, Abel. The very soul of balance. Of... Indeed, Beeston. Whether on your hunting bow or on your helm. All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Beeston. Aren't you worried some other... <laughs> You have done the imp- My pettish- Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a- If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer- So, what do you need of- Our affairs are more of heart than of state. We would have our freedom, Eivor. I, from my wife- I'm too sharp a weapon for so soft a- Oh, were I a Dane! Then what is stopping you? Your King Alfred? Ours was not a union of love, but necessity. Decreed by Alfred's father to strengthen ties with Frankia. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We had a plan, a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Frankia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is... It should be a bold venture if we do. During our luck... Your return to Frankie... We could ask... I would have thought his steed and seamen... Come find me in the market, Eivor. Our unwelcome guest... My wife is a gracious and attentive host, Eivor. And the woman... A darling Maybud, Alvada. Twenty years. We can hope. You must... I believe she lived in the last house in Molden. I will do as you both. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my app. Now, should I look for Alvida first, or meet with Estrid at the marketplace? She will remember me, won't she? Yet what if she's married already? Or buried in a cold clay loaf? No.
Came first. So and now my ma Will it not be strange? Yes, but what is to keep? You speak with some sad. There have been tears, but also great passions, love. And what of our plan, the great lamp? Yes, it's a wonderful evening. A Revelers with mud. And what of the ship that will sail you home? I know just the one, and her captain is full of fire. Come, I will take you to him. This captain, who is he? Not much more than a boy in his 17th year, full of youthful bravado. A Saxon? A Dane, though Adred calls you raiders. He says that you are here to steal England. Some may be, but I've come to settle a stretch of land. I'm not so keen to return to the winters of my birth in Norway. Norway, ah, it must be beautiful, rugged and fearsome, and cold as anything, the frozen north. So cold that light hangs in the sky, a road for the Valkyries who carry our dead warriors to their eternal feast. An eternal feast would be a merry end. We are here. This is a brothel. The captain's name is Rolfur, called Rollo in my tongue. Tell him of our new plan and agree to whatever reward he demands. He may take some convincing, for we did not part on the best of terms. I'll bring him round. By force of persuasion. Just be ready for my signal at the Lammas Festival. I gladly reave the swan road by your side, Abel. Eh? Right with me, warrior, for plunder, glory, and Valhalla. Oh no! Please, I'm just a poor Christian brother with nothing left to give. Oh! <laughs> Someone's at the door, Rolla. Oh, is it that hun I asked for? Estrid sent me. Did she now? As a parting gift for the man who rattled her bones, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm here to collect you. Can it wait? Oi! Bring out the one they call Rolo. The king's men want to ask him a few questions. No, 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 no. Just a second. Good day, sir. Come in. Move! Move! Some help here. Bloody fucking Danes. Open this door. Out. Now. Follow me. We found your camp, Dane. Your friends are all trussed up. No one to help you now. Estrid did not lie. You have fire. And who are you to Estrid? Only a friend. I'm Avon of the Raven. Norse by the mute. Then you must forgive me. Those sex. Go to your men if you must. Only tell me where to find. Northeast of here, by the river's mouth. Yeah. Brought by 
Thanks to God's favor. I'll kill you. Let's bleed. <laughs> By call. Many thanks. Worse than I feared. And the rest at each other's throats. Lork and Gerhild have been at my side all season. I don't like them. If the traitor lives, all of you are at risk. Very well. While you were drinking... Have you made your decision? On second thought, perhaps there's more to be learned. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxon... Two were nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister, and Lork served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rollo's clan. The camp is well stocked, with fresh rabbits and game. I should speak to both, and see if I can find some evidence around the camp. Gerhild, is it? Aye. Rollo's sworn sword sister. You weren't here when the Saxons... I was hunting! There's fine game in the tree. What was your prey? Rabbits for stu- Who are you to- I am shield sworn, so long as England and their- I hear envy. You know nothing, Ravenbeak. My concern is for my- You're lying. I found- You've got more wit than your face suggests. I went to meet a lad from a nearby vi- That's all. Gerhild. That's all. Nordic, yes? You want to hear my story? And bring... 
Where were you when the sex happened? Hunting rabbits, wasn't I? Sick to death of carrots and turnips. Did you see anything at all? Geralt, talking with a Saxon. Couldn't hear that. Why should I believe you? You could be lying to save your... Ask her. Says she's loyal to Rollo, but I've known her since she was a babe. How long had... I owe his father a blood oath. And if Rollo was dead, that oath would be... I'll feast in Odin's Hall one day. You're lying. Told you. I was hunt. Stick to that story, and I'll tell Rollo... I was sleeping in the forest, wasn't I? Heard Saxons tramping through the trees. I have what I... I might find some evidence to test their stories. Nordic said he hid when the Saxons came. Here would be a good place. Have you made your decision? Gerhild claimed to be hunting as Lord. She rarely hunts. Your shield sister is jealous. She thinks you neglect your people, but she always had ambition. Lord said... Why would he lie? Unless he tires of his blood oath, and with your death... He has become old and frail. But he served my father well. This man knew the Saxons were coming and hid. He was either in league with them, or a coward. A sad fall for a great warrior no... Have you come to a firm conclusion? I have. Let me hear it. Lord betrayed you. Lies! And curse you, boy, for letting this outsider sway your heart. A shameful death on bloody Saxon soil. Both had reason to betray their Jarl, but only one had the eyes on to do so. I hope you chose well, for you denied them a seat in my hall. There can be no feast in my... He served my father, but he always thought me a callow lackbeard. Nothing more can be done here, but your warriors might still be alive, and I will need your help after they're free. There's a Saxon camp with a dock at Port Walton. It might be they were taken there. I told you I was loyal. How dare you doubt me? Forgive me, Geralt. But even now there are some who will. You should make yourself scarce for a while. I've heard of a safer place than this south of Colchester. Let's you and I go take a look, shall we? I'm sorry that your people suffer, Rollo. Thank you, Eivor. I have much to think on as we journey. I'll leave you to those thoughts. Show me what lies ahead.
Saxon blood! Those men are free. Now we discuss the terms of the kidnap. Your axe arm is strong, Rolo. Never doubt me, Raven Feeder. These Saxon king slaves did. You showed great loyalty to your kinfolk. Good advice. If it's renown you want, then aid me now. Oh. I need someone with a swift wave steed in good repair to bring the Lady Estrid across the sea to another kidnap scheme. Estrid is. I need you, stout heart. We had our time together. Now we'll meet with your men inside Colt.
show me. Lover from so long ago. Would I? <laughs> 